ever put together a resume? Back in the early 2000s, I was on a search committee at Anderson University School of Theology, and we were looking for an Old Testament professor. And we got probably 80 different resumes. And man, they were impressive. Uh, I thought, man, they should have my job. These were guys who had studied in uh, places like Switzerland, who had written books, who had won teaching awards. I remember one guy who was um, a graduate of the University of Minnesota and his language skills were way off the chart. I was impressed by their credentials because that's what we do on a resume. We put our credentials on there. So here's a question. What are the credentials Jesus wants? Well, in Luke chapter 18, after Jesus teaches about persistence in prayer and a widow that bothers the judge so long that he gives in, and about the idea of humility, that is the humble toll collector that went home justified, they start bringing some children to Jesus. And when they bring the children, the disciples don't like it. They rebuke them. But Jesus says, permit the children to come to me, for such are the kingdom of God. What's he saying? And why does the kingdom of God consist of children? One simple thing. Children have no credentials. They don't have advanced degrees, work experience, life experience, things they've done. They have no merit or they have no credit. And that's exactly who Jesus invites. It's when we're willing to set aside our experience, our merit, our credit, the things we've done, when we're willing to set those aside, then Jesus says, yes, these are the people of the kingdom. For one person once put it like this, it's not our talents God wants or God needs, it's our availability. And so we don't have to have a resume with a lot of accomplishments to come to God. We just simply have to be available, just like a child willing to come to the Lord. This is your daily devotional for Tuesday. I hope you're doing well. hope you'll pray for the church and pray for me and seek first the kingdom of God. Remember to pray for trunk or treat tomorrow night and for the witness we'll have when people come to vote this weekend. And remember Jesus said, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. May that be us. Amen.